I've made a lot of videos on this channel where I talk about balance. I talk about how it's really important to have balance in your life because it is, right? If you have balance in your life, you're probably going to be a happier person and it just makes you more effective at many things. You know, if you have good relationships, whether they be with family or friends or a significant other, if you have, you know, a good job and you have, you know, income and you have a place to live and things are good. If you have balance in your life, things are going to be better. You know, you have to have some exercise and some intellectual stimulation. All of those things, you know, paint this picture of a perfect life. And people call that a balanced life. And it's appealing, right? It's appealing because people want to be happy. They want to have good lives. But this video is not about balance. It's about breaking balance. If you want to learn advanced mathematics, if you really want to take it to the next level, you're going to have to break the balance even for just a little while. And then when you get to the level you want to be at, then you can kind of tone it down and you can start to regain that balance. <laughs> I remember I remember walking into a McDonald's and ordering a chocolate shake. And the girl at the counter, she said, you look so happy. And it's because I hadn't been to a McDonald's in like a year and a half because I had been so focused on the mathematics I was doing. I hadn't even been to a restaurant. I hadn't even gone out. I was just doing math all the time. I think that most people who get to a higher level in math, who, who learn more advanced mathematics, they have to break the balance in order to get to that level. You know, if you think about it, Think about how many people in the world know advanced math. And you, and you can apply these principles to anything, right? To being a great runner, to you know, being really good at any sport, or being successful in any particular field. You, know, you have to break the balance. So think about how many people know, you know advanced mathematics. You know, take Walmart. If you walk into a Walmart, how many people at Walmart do you think know calculus? Right? How many? How many do you think? There might be a few, but not that many. Now think about how many people at Walmart know advanced calculus, even even less, right? So it's a very specialized thing. You have to spend a considerable amount of time in order to learn mathematics. You have to break the balance. And I think that when you break that balance and, and you learn that mathematics, it's rewarding because you go to a place that most people have not gone. You know information that most people don't know. And is that a good thing? Maybe, maybe. I think it's interesting. You know, it's certainly going to bring some value to your life. At the same time, there was this mathematician once. His name was Paul Helmholtz, a very famous mathematician. He wrote several books, Naive Set Theory being one of his greatest books. He also has a really good book on measure theory. And he said that one of the things he really didn't like about being a professional mathematician, because he was a professional mathematician. He was publishing some serious work was that a lot of people didn't understand his work. So you can imagine Paul, you know, going to a party with other people who don't do math. And, you know, they ask him, what do, what do you do for work? Oh, you know, I'm a mathematician. Oh, so what do you do? And you know, he's going to start talking about some really, you know, far out stuff that it's going to be very hard for him to explain to a, a normal person, right? A person who hasn't broken the balance to learn the material that he's learned. And I'm not saying that breaking the balance is healthy, right? I'm not saying that. I still think that balance is the way to go. You want to have balance in your life. But I'm mainly making this video to tell you that if you're in a place where you're studying all the time and you just feel like your life has been completely upended by mathematics because you're working so hard and you just don't get it, I'm here to tell you it's normal. It's normal. You know, when I took, when I took advanced calculus as an undergrad, I was studying at least 20 hours a week. And up until that point, I was one of those people that worked really, really hard. But I also got, most of the time, I got good results. You know, I worked hard and I saw the results, right? Most of the time. I had some failures before that, but most of the time, if I really gave it 100%, I, I saw results. But in advanced calculus, I gave it 100% and the results weren't quite where I wanted to be. I was getting C's and stuff and I just, you know, there was a curve so, you know, I got an A in the class, but I wanted to get 100 on the tests. So I would spend hours, I mean hours, I would come home every day after class, I would sit at my desk, I would open the book, and I would just read the book over and over again, right, over and over again. 
And it really created a lot of unbalance in my personal life at the time. It really, it really hurt my personal relationships at the time. I lost them. I lost some of my really best relationships because of that. So I'm not saying, you know, if you study advanced math, that's going to happen to you. You know, be aware of those things. But you do have to break the balance to get to that next level. You know, an another example is uh, when I was in grad school, uh, we had an assignment. It was really hard. It was like seven questions. And I finished it. And I had a friend. He wasn't done. And it was due the next day. And I was like, well, you know, I can help you out. You know, you, you, if you want, you know, we can, I can show you what I did and you can, you know, rewrite it in your own words, understand it. It's cool. I'm, I'm totally okay with it, man. I, I can help you out, you know? And he's like, no, no, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out. And I was like, are you sure? And I, and I, I almost like, I, I felt really bad for him because I knew how long it took me. I mean, it took me uh, over a week <laughs> to figure out those seven problems. Plus there was a typo in one of the problems, which was very, very painful. So the next day we go to class and he comes in and I remember him walking in the door. He walked in, he was just walking in. He had a funny little walk, nice guy. And I said, did you finish? And he goes, yep. I was like, did you stay up like really late? And he goes, oh, I didn't sleep. I was like, you pulled an all-nighter? He's like, yep. I was like, oh my God. And not only that, so this guy pulled an all-nighter, finished the homework, okay? And I'm pretty sure he had to teach that day. He had a, uh, I think he had a calculus one recitation he had to teach. So he had to go teach. So he had to go stand in front of college students and teach calculus after staying up all night working on a homework problem that I could have given him, right? I could have just given him the answer. Turns out his answers were better than mine. <laughs> so he had some really nice, really nice answers. But I don't know if he was aware of it, uh, and I, I don't know where he is today. But he broke the balance. I mean, who does that, right? So you have to break the balance sometimes. Someone once said that if you want to get different results in your life, you have to do different things, right? So you're not going to get to a place that you've never been many times if you just keep doing the same thing, right? You're going to get the same results. And so to, to learn advanced mathematics, you have to go to that place. You have to really like embrace it. You have to study all the time. You know, I always talk about how, you know, the best way to start with math, and, and I still believe this, is to just do at least one problem a day, right? One problem a day. And for most people, that's good. It gets you going. It gets you, it gets you in a routine. It makes it a habit. And it's rewarding. You know, you do one problem, and then you think about it for the rest of the day. You know, if you do, like, one quadratic equation every day, you wake up in the morning, you do a quadratic equation, you're done. You know, 10 hours later, you can look back and say, Hey, today was a pretty productive day. I did some math. And I, and I think that's a good way to start. It is. It is. But this video is not about getting started with math. This video is not about learning math. It's about taking it to the next level and learning really advanced math, right? And in order to do that, I think you have to break the balance. I think you have to grind every day. And you have to push. And you have to focus. You have to have insane focus and insane willpower and insane motivation. I mean, you simply just have to be unbalanced. You have to be different than everyone else because you have to take your mind to a place where most people don't go. And, and this is true for anything in life that you're trying to do. If you're trying to do something that is extraordinary, if you're trying to do something that is different in your life, then you have to take different steps. You have to work harder than most people. That's, that's just the way it is. I mean, there's stories where people get lucky and they do really well in life, but most of us, most of us aren't that lucky and you shouldn't rely on luck, right? Don't leave things to chance. So if you're thinking about learning advanced math and you're feeling like, you know, I don't get it, I'm having a hard time, this is tough, I'm never going to learn, just know that it's okay, right? Everyone goes through it. Everyone has to struggle. I feel like everyone has to break that balance in order to take it to the next level. Do you have any advice for people watching this video on learning advanced math and how to keep the balance? Can you keep the balance? Do you think that you can be balanced and learn advanced math? Or do you think that we all have to go through this period where we just have to study insane amounts? I, I really believe that, you know, from what I've seen, you know, in my personal life, in, in graduate school, from knowing other, other graduate students, from being a teacher for so many years, people have to spend an incredible amount of time on math, and I feel like it breaks their balance. And that's why I always you know, talk about balance. Try to find balance because breaking the balance is not fun, but sometimes you have to break it for a little while. 
If you have any thoughts, comments, opinions, leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, good luck. Keep doing math.